to, to uh, affect things quite a bit because um, when the sanctions were first imposed by the United States on two Turkish ministers, that was because of the, the Andrew Brunson case. This uh, then had a sort of knock-on ad adverse effect on the Turkish economy, uh, which we're seeing the, the results of now. But just in the last 24 hours, uh, we've heard from uh, the uh, U.S. Uh, Treasury Secretary threatening more sanctions unless uh, Turkey releases Andrew Brunson from his house arrest. And also we've had uh, tweets from Donald Trump as well in the last 24 hours quite severely criticizing Turkey over its conduct. It doesn't seem like the United States wants to let the uh, issue of uh, surrounding Andrew Brunson uh, calm down. So it doesn't really seem that combined with that, with this court ruling in the last hour or so, is going to uh, uh, you know, help the situation at all, really, between these two countries. So, Andrew, have all his legal options been exhausted at this point? Do we know? Uh, well, we're still getting more details at the moment. What we understand is in the last few weeks, uh, Andrew Brunson, through his lawyer, has been uh, appealing against his uh, house arrest. Uh, he's been kept under house arrest in Izmir at the moment. They wanted to uh, vary the conditions, loosen his travel restrictions. On both occasions, those appeals were uh, rejected. And what's happened, this uh, latest hearing today was a, a sort of those decisions had been referred for a review uh, at another hearing. Now the, the legal bodies in that hearing have also rejected this. Um, but I, we're not quite sure at the moment whether that is the last uh, appeal he will have or whether he can still take this to a, another sort of higher court in Turkey at the moment. Well, obviously, it's not, uh, not helping the situation at the moment between uh, Turkey and the United States. And Andrew, remind us why uh, his appeals have been rejected. Why is he seen as a danger to the Turkish state? Uh, well, the charges that he faces, as a number of charges, they're all connected to uh, alleged terrorism offences in, in some shape or form, such as uh, uh, connections to alleged connections to FETO, the organisation uh, that was behind the, the failed coup attempt in 2016, and also the PKK as well, another terrorist organisation uh, in Turkey. The evidence against him all surrounds things like uh, mobile phone records that he is, uh, that place him in the, the same area as one of the uh, high-level uh, FETO leaders. There's also uh, evidence being put against him about that he was uh, found to have uh, records, worker lists um, on him which connected to him to some of these events and also uh, details, uh, allegations about offences in uh, being committed in southeast Turkey and uh, meetings with some groups connected to the PKK. Um, so all of these allegations have been, uh, have been put against him. Uh, Turkey sees these as very serious allegations which the uh, courts should decide what should happen to him. Uh, the United States say he's an innocent man and should be freed as soon as possible.